about 13 miles from downtown Atlanta. Welcome to Truist Park. We bring you Friday baseball on the show. It's the San Diego Padres going up against the Atlanta Braves. John Shambi on the play-by-play -play with you. Chris Singleton providing the color. Singy, a guy who could change this game with one swing of the bat. Xander Bogarts leads the team at OPS, so he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks, he'll barrel up the baseball, he'll hit the ball in the gaps, he'll hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going good. That's him right now, and he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now, and towing the slab here, Kyle Wright. Boogie pitched into the seventh, earned the W in his last start. He really needed that one. Well, his team needs another one today. We'll see if he can carry that performance into this game. Ready to go now. Here's Manny Machado to start it off. Machado. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. And we are underway. That's the third. Riley. Machado out of the play. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. One run batted in yesterday. Their only run of the game. Right through there for a strike. Jake Cronenworth, the Michigan kid, he played at the University of Michigan. Rays took him in the 15 draft in the seventh round. Grew up playing a, a lot of hockey, eventually made his big league debut with the Padres. Chris, he's been an all-star twice. Righty to the plate. Right through there, got him. Two away. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. And here is Xander Bogarts. Takes it himself. That ends the frame. Three up, three down for San Diego. And now the Braves with their first chance to hit. We're scoreless. Back at Truist Park, our starting pitcher in this one, Nick Martinez. What do we have on him? Yeah, very respectable numbers last year, a sub-350 ERA, and, you know, guys like that, you may think, well, they're elite pitchers that are pitching sub-twos, they're dominating, but when you can have that kind of consistency, you know you have a chance to win the ball game every time he takes the mound. So, you know, good season last year, opportunity for him to go out there and repeat it this year, possibly even improve, but I tell you what, if this guy's pitching for me and I'm playing in the outfield, I'm loving every minute of it. Pitch misses there, and the count even one and one. Falling behind two and one. And that one fouled off. Steps on first for the out. So here's Murphy now. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. That's in there, and it's 0-1. And that's a strike. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Next one misses, and the count one and two. There's a swing and a drive. That one back there. Out of here! Sean Murphy circles the bases. His second of the year, and the Braves have the lead now. It's 1-0. See, he was out front just a little bit. Maybe didn't recognize the changeup earlier, but he got the bat head to it, hooked it down the line, and was able to keep it fair for a long home run. Really impressive.
and here is Ronald Acuna Jr. And first offering is fouled off. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. The next offering misses. One and one. So, Boog, you're the fashion police. What do you got on Ronald Acuna and the way that he accessorizes the uni? Oh, Siggy, I dig it. The Braves base color is red and blue, but he adds the yellow. It kind of represents the Venezuelan flag, the country that he hails from. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Austin Riley stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Pitch misses there. Okay. Two balls, no strikes to count. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back okay. and drive it to the opposite field. And that's you, ball man. four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Matt Olson up to the plate. And that one wrapped foul. Left hand hitter waits. Strike two. Riley, the runner at first with two gone. That misses, and a count one and two. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Two outs. Oh, and he hit him. He had him one, two, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Well, he's only an out away from getting through the inning, but he just lost control for a brief moment there. It's not the end of the world, but don't let one mistake turn into another. Get your focus back right here. Next to hit, Vaughn Grissom. He's got it. And that is out number three. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back. Top of the second. And stepping in is the speedy Fernando Tatis Jr. First offering and it just misses. Fernando Tatis Jr. continues to be one of the most dynamic talents in the game. That season he put together in 2021, one of the best in Padres history. Rolled over to third, Riley. Fires across the diamond. Leadoff man retired here in the second. And he looked a little tentative on that swing. Almost like he didn't get pitch recognition and tried to slow his bat down just to make contact. I'd rather oh. see a guy swing through it instead of making weak contact and put it in play, have another pitch where maybe he can drive out of the ballpark. Next one is off the play, and the count is 2-0. Yes, yeah, such a special player at a young age. He led the National League in home runs in just his third season in the bigs, and he went on the injured list twice in that season. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Out there to center. Harris has a beat on it. Pulls it in, two away. Now it's Matt Carpenter. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Misses off the plate. Ball one. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Next offering is in for a strike. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. On the ground. Whips it to first. And that is that. Padres down in order. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the second. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Michael Harris. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. And the one next ball. pitch is way outside. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. That's down and in. Left hand batter waits. Down the line towards the corner. And that's a fair ball. 
Soto throws to second. And that's a leadoff double. Here's Marcelo Zuna. One home run shy of 200 for his career. Out towards left center. Soto makes the catch for the out. And there's one down. Here's Orlando Arcia. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Rudder breaks for third. There's a ball. Throw. Save. That's a stolen base. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. Wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. Ground ball, left side. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Throws to first. Run scores, and that makes it 2 nothing as they get the out. Wow, Singy Statcast tells us he fired an absolute bullet to first, and it needed to be a bullet. Yeah, 87 miles per hour on a line, Boog, and that's some heat from across the diamond. Really close play at first, but the ball just beat him to the bat. So the batting order turns over. Now in for the Braves, Ozzie Albies. And first offering is fouled off. Ziggy, how about this? Ozzy speaks four languages, English, Spanish, Dutch, and Papiamentu. Well, with the way the game's expanding, that can be very helpful. Well, plays made there, and that retires the side. One run, one hit, no errors, and no. Top half of the third inning, so digging in now for San Diego, Nelson Cruz. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Cruz, multi-time All-Star, 42 years old. He joined the team as a free agent. Next offering is in for a strike. Kick San Diego's. And that's downstairs and outside. And it goes just foul. And a pitch. And another ball. Got it by him for the K. And now it's Austin Nola. A rope into right, and that's a base hit. One down. Ha Sung Kim will hit next. Line to left. Base hit. The throw into second. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. A back to back base hits. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Machado in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Next offering is downstairs. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Nola at second. Kim at first. One gone. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Coming home. Here comes the throw. Tag. Not in time. Safe. And now they trail by one. Comes through with the RBI. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Two on, one out. And here's the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. And a foul ball. And that's outside. And I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. One, two now. Got him. Huge strikeout there. Well, this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the offensive side of the game, right? I mean, missed opportunity to tie it up with the runner at third, run out, couldn't put the ball in play. So now it's time to pick him up. And that's where good teams, they go to. They operate on this level of next man up. That mentality is what causes them to win series, 
get into the postseason. That helps keep the energy and morale high in the dugout. One ball. Swing and a miss. And the count, one and two. In the dirt. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Next offering in the dirt. And a full count now. Battling here as he fouls it away. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. The pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. So one run in the inning on this base hit. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Welcome back. Here's Sean Murphy. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller. Good at framing. But it's that big arm that really stands out. You come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits, some slogs, some home runs can come into play. And yeah, the righty deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Here's Acuna now. Grounded out his first time up. In the air, right field. Tatis makes the grab for the second out. Here's Austin Riley. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. That one misses in the dirt. Austin Riley, a guy that's turned into one of the young stars in the National League. Chris, he's got big time power. Next offering is in for a strike. He's got power, and he's also been able to develop the glove defensively. Another guy that Ron Washington's helped go to the next level. Now he doesn't have to worry about making mistakes defensively, and he can have better at-bats because of it. And a ground ball to first. That ends the inning. Back here in Atlanta, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Fernando Tatis Jr. And that is in for a strike. That's strike one. Next pitch is popped up. And that one gets down, fair ball. The throw in, safe at second with nobody out, and he represents the tying run. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. He probably would have been able to drive that pitch on the outside if he let it just get a little deeper and look to hit it to the opposite field. But he made it work out. Next offering is down low. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Tatis leads off second with nobody out. Fastball almost got him there. On the corner for a strike, and the count's full. Runner leads away at second. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And the right-hander deals. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. No outs, runner on second. Laser, base hit. Here comes the runner. Acuna fires it to the plate. The tag, and he's out. Well, I get pretty fired up on plays like that, especially as a former outfielder. Textbook, excellent footwork, came up with a nice crow hop, throw on the money to the plate. Man, it doesn't get any better than that. And a nice job as well by the catcher. Handle that throw, put the tag on, and the ball stays in the mid. Matt Carpenter, the next up for the Padres. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Hey. That's through there for a strike. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left handers like the ball down and in. 
Next pitch is downstairs. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Back to back singles. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Fly ball down the line. Acuna brings it in with a nice running grab. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Nola in the box now, takes strike one. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. First and second, two down. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Squirts away a little bit. Count moves to two and two as the runners hold. On the ground to third. Whips it across. Out number three. Bottom four. Here's Matt Olson. Martinez back to work. Olson swings and drives it deep to right. Tatis going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. Grissom stands in here. Takes ball one low. That one the other way. And that's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. I'll tell you. And it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Swing and a miss. One and two. Grissom stands at first with one out. This one in the dirt. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Marcelo Zuna now at the plate. 0 for 1 so far. Ball one, no strikes. Good eye right there. Two balls. No strike. Two and oh to Cal. Here it comes. Oh, great stop. The throw. And very nicely done for the out. Brave strand one. As they're on. Back at Truist Park. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's the second baseman. Ha Sung Kim. Here's a rocket out to left. Looks like extra bases. Into second base. The tying run is on with a leadoff double. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Machado in the box now. Takes strike one. Next offering is downstairs. Runner at second. Nobody out. Gonna count one and two. One well, that's that serve right there. He threw it extremely well. I talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Foul ball still a one and two count. At the belt and fires. Got him looking. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. Next for the Padres, Jake Cronenworth. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. And that's in for a strike. Here's a 1-1. Checks his swing. Now would appeal to third. And yes, he did. He went around. And a 1-2. Knocks that one away. And we'll do it again. Yeah. 
And now the count is even. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. The throw to first. That's the third out. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the shortstop at the play. Orlando Arcia. And ball one. And that misses off the outside edge. And a swing and a miss there. And now it's even up. Man, that was pretty gross right there. Next pitch, okay. not close, up high. In the air to left center. Soto makes the play. And there's one down. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. He's sitting on 99 career homers. We'll see if this is the moment to notch number 100. Here comes a pitch. And fouled off. Singy, this guy, Ozzy Albies, he is Mr. Personality. So much flair and that giant smile on the field. Down and in, moved his feet. For me, one of the things I really enjoy is just the banter that he has with third base coach Ron Washington, who's helped him tremendously defensively at second base. Next pitch has popped up. Cronenworth pulls that one down, and there's two down. Now Sean Murphy the next catch up catch. for the Braves. Murphy. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Now fly ball to right center. And it one hops the wall. And that's a double. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Acuna in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. Activity in the bullpen for the Padres. Nabil Krizmat getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Pomerantz getting cranked up as well. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Murphy on its second with two down. The next pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Got him swinging. Some high cheese for strike three. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. Swing and a miss, strike one. Tatis waits. He goes down looking. Has been racking up the strikeouts, and what's so impressive, not walking anyone. I mean, this guy's just going right after hitters, filling up the strike zone, and it looks like hitters, they're trying to think with him, but they just are a pitch behind. Dominating stuff out there on the mound. Next one is off the plate. And it's a ball and a strike. Chris Soto was a runner-up for the National League Rookie of the Year in 2018 to Ronald Acuna Jr. And then a runner-up for the MVP in 2021 to Bryce Harper. Is this a guy you think could win an MVP somewhere down the line? No, I expect him to. And not just one. I think more than one MVP, considering how young he was when he got to the big leagues, just 19. 
three two now three balls. Three strikes. in the air out towards right center Harris racing after it and that one hops the wall and the tying runs at second base with a double he was all over that one pretty much just a textbook double into the gap and when you can drop one in there between the outfielders you Come know on. you're Point making three. the turn at first just an excellent swing now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up and he'll two swings and misses struck him out Nelson Cruz the next up for the Padres there's a strike. Runner at second. Two down. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. Sneaks through. Base hit. Now a long throw home. Run comes in from second. It's 2-2. Two -two. His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Go ahead, run on base. Austin Nola, the next up for the Padres. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Nola measures six feet even, 33 years old, and he was a fifth round pick back in 2012. Struck him out swinging. Slider got him for strike three. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Brent Honeywell Jr. comes on now. He's making his second appearance of the season. So here's the cleanup hitter, Austin Riley. He's 0 for 1. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. Honeywell Jr. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Tim Hill getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Now one and one. One ball, one strike. Next pitch inside, and a count two and one. Two balls, one strike. Right-handed reliever. Next offering misses down and away. Line drive, base hit. Showed some really nice patience in that and bad. Worked himself into a good count. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. And a pitch. And there's a foul ball. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of a double play here. Next pitch misses. And that's ball one. Way to lay off that pitch down. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So now the DH spot, Vaughn Grissom. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. Next pitch downstairs. One and oh. Way high. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Swings and misses. Two and one now. And there's a the ball. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. And there's ball four. Well, interesting, he went with the off-speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. 
Harris swings oh, through it for strike one. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. Swings through that one. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Well, you see him trying to pull that inside pitch right there, and that's not the kind of approach that you want to have. Even if you do get to it, it's going to be very difficult to keep it fair. You're just going to make it a long strike at best. You have to be able to stay within the baseball on the inside of that path to it, and that way, if you're a little quick, the ball gets hit hard somewhere, and it's not foul. Comebacker to the mound. And the inning is over. Top of inning number seven. Now it's the second baseman, Ha Sung Kim. That's in for a strike. You know, these Padres, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. Just look at how the ball's coming off their bats, and tell me it's fun playing defense at this level. They've got seven hits at 90-plus miles per hour exit velocity, so you got to look alive out there. That's out to center field. Harris puts it away for the out, and there's one away. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. That one to first, and it gets by him. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They've had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, oh, put no. the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Cronenworth in the box lays off for ball one. And that's in for a strike. Next one misses, and it's two and one. The pitch. Good eye right there. Call this count. Runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. One away. Tie game. Go ahead, run. Stands at first. And a swing and a miss. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And that's a foul ball. Bogarts, who wears that number two on his back for his idol, Derek Jeter. Riley fires the first. Bogarts retired. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the inning. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Orlando Arcia. This one smacked out to left center. Soto squeezes it. One away. Good piece of hitting right there. Nice hard line drive to the outfield. You're trying to get on base, represent that go-ahead run. Can't hang your head on that at all. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Machado makes the grab. Two down. Here's the catcher, Sean Murphy. And there's the strike. This batter has to understand his job is to get on base however he can. If he gets hit by a pitch, if he walks, maybe even singles. But you want to get the heart of the order up to the plate. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss. And that is that. And yeah, the Braves. Welcome back, Fernando. So the Padres have chased the starter, Joe Jimenez. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. And one and two. Fights it off, he'll see another. And he deals. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Here's Juan Soto. Check swing. He held up. Ball one. On the ground right side. 
Albies over to first in time. Two up, two down here at the top of the eighth. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Next offering is in for a strike. Kicks and fires. Fights that one away, still one and two. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one. Honeywell back to work. This one in the air center field. He's under it. And there's one down. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Austin Riley. That's in there. Well, and at bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. Inside quarter for a strike. And it's nothing in two. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And that's down it away. Got to be real careful here. 2-0. He's hunting for his pitch. Righty delivers. And now 2-1. Two and Swings through that one for strike two. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. Next offering upstairs. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. That one down the line, and he picks it up in foul territory. The kick, the 3 2. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. 3-2. Gets a piece and stays alive. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a drive. This one is crushed. No doubt about it. And here in the late stages, they have the lead. Matt Olson goes deep. His second of the year, it's 3-2. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat was very patient and it paid off. So two down. to short throw over to Cronenworth and that's the third out Braves get one of the big fly last chance coming up for the Padres on the mound now Rysel Iglesias coming on for the save here and something he couldn't get done in his last appearance so let's see if he can bounce back and lock this thing up stepping in for San Diego Nelson Cruz and the first pitch misses for ball one there's a strike one one now and a strike Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, 
You're going to try to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good swing and a miss. He struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. One run game here in the top of the ninth. That's off the mark, and it's one and two. Center field. Harris makes the grab, and there's two out. So digging in now for San Diego, Ha Sung Kim. And first offering is fouled off. Iglesias, 33 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. The next offering misses. One ball, one strike. Now one missed. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. That one fouled off. Two and two. And now the count filled up three and two. Got him! And that's the ball game. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll, and that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Guys start hitting up and down the lineup. You never know who's going to come up with the big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs, but it's a good feeling, and you want to extend it. 3-2 the final score. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.